Hi, I'm Dr. Leanne Catton, the Medical Officer of Health for the Porcupine Health Unit. I wanted to provide another little check-in and update with respect to COVID-19 across the Porcupine Health Unit region. As we look forward to measured and monitored opening of the, of the province, we must remember where we have been over the last several weeks. Across the Porcupine Health Unit area, we have been hosting weekly meetings to share guidance, recommendations and updates with healthcare sector partners such as hospital, EMS, primary care, as well as long-term care and retirement homes and other partners across the region. We have worked with dedicated community partners in each community to support the planning and management of COVID-19 assessment centers to ensure access to testing across all communities. We have also worked with EMS to continue to facilitate in-home testing and continue to support the many local tables responding to the protection of all of our community members from COVID-19. We have seen over 3,000 tests for COVID-19 conducted, over 60 confirmed positive cases, the majority of which are now resolved, and unfortunately, some tragic losses. Our communities and our province and our world really has seen unprecedented changes. Our communities have seen the closures of schools, businesses, sports, events, services, and the loss of close personal connections. We have missed life events like birthday parties, graduations, weddings, and even more importantly, simple hugs, visits, and connections with extended family and friends. However, we have also seen tremendous strength, resilience, community support, leadership, and truly remarkable partnerships, all with our unique Northern spirit. Thank you for these sacrifices, for your commitment, for the reduction of spread, for helping to save lives, for staying home and for staying the course. We must continue the same commitment to following measures that can help protect community members into the next phases and weeks to come. With the opening of some stores and workplaces, we want to remind everyone of the key steps that we can all take to ensure these changes do not negatively impact our pro progress to date. If you are out in the community as a client in a store or another workplace, please remember, wash your hands if possible on entry to any store or facility. Maintain physical distancing, again, that's two meters from others, from those that work in that place and from other clients. Be mindful and continue to shop alone as much as possible. Cough into your sleeve, don't touch your face, and again, wash your hands immediately when you arrive home. If you are a workplace or a store that is able to open in one capacity or another, whether it's curbside or actually open to clients entering your premise, there are still other steps that you can continue to take to ensure protection for all clients and staff. Some of these include ensuring access to hand washing for all staff and clients, ensuring physical distancing measures are outlined and followed, and that is maintaining two meters apart for staff and clients. Mark this out with tape, mark this out with objects, make it clear, make it fun. Consider physical barriers such as plexiglass. If you are able to open to clients entering your premise, please limit the number of customers at a time. Consider dedicated or specific hours for at-risk populations such as those over the age of 65. Encourage customers to pack their own purchases if possible. Frequently wash and disinfect commonly touched surfaces and ensure to have clear visible signage at all entrances to remind both staff and clients around COVID symptoms and to again encourage and enforce anyone who feels unwell in any way to please stay home. Wash your hands immediately on arriving home at all times. Stay home if you're unwell in any way. Call the Porcupine Health Unit or your primary care provider for referral to an assessment center to get tested. We will continue to share guidance with both bu with businesses locally and in all of our communities. And we will also be providing online documents and guidance to ensure the steps are in place for any premise that's able to open under the new guidance from the ministry and the province to do so safely. We encourage anyone to call, any businesses to call, with any questions or concerns or for further guidance on how to open and conduct your business in as safe a manner as possible to protect your 
staff and to protect all of our community members. We ask all community members across the Porcupine Health Unit to remain mindful of the role we all play in reducing the spread. We must move forward cautiously. We must remain committed to the steps and precautions necessary to limit the impact of COVID-19 on our communities. Wash your hands, stay home if unwell, call if, and get tested, maintain physical distancing at all times, maintain social connections, and wash your hands again. Thank you, merci, miigwech.